Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Liz Wade, and I'm Dave Bast. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. Everything in the prison is gray. The walls are gray. The floors are gray. The metal fence is gray, and it is loud. There are shouts and sounds of fighting from the men behind bars. But one room in the prison is very different. In this room, spoken words bring color and life. Here, a few men gather to listen to spoken word poetry. This kind of poetry is not only words on paper; it also includes performance, the way the words sound out loud. The men listen to another prisoner perform his poem. If your world is black and white, let me bring the color. Let's get back to the cause. Let's get back to these walls, built to separate and create hate, built to execute and create waste. So I write from a place of pure base, all the elements put together to produce faith. These are the words of Kasal Kiev. His spoken word poetry has helped many people, including himself. Today's spotlight is on Kasal Kiev. He began writing in prison, but later he performed for the world. Kiev began writing and performing poetry in a prison in the United States, but. He was not a citizen of the United States. Kiev was born in a refugee camp between the borders of Cambodia and Thailand. His family fled the war in Cambodia before he was born. They moved to the United States when he was only one year old. Kiev struggled growing up in the United States. His family was poor, and his father was still in Cambodia. As Kiev grew up, he did not feel that he belonged in the United States. When he was thirteen years old, he joined a gang. This violent group of young men accepted him. He had friends. They almost felt like a new family. But the gang also got him into trouble. When he was sixteen years old, Kiev shot and injured two people. It was a serious crime. The police caught Kiev. And charged him with attempted murder. The courts sentenced him to sixteen years in prison. Life in prison was extremely difficult and violent. At one point, Kiev got involved in a fight. The prison guards put him in solitary confinement. Kiev lived in a small room 
for a year and a half. He was completely alone. He told the BBC that his time in solitary confinement changed his life. He said, You come to talk to yourself. You have to look at yourself, all parts of yourself. It made me say, Is this it? Is this all your life is going to amount to? Are you going to die in prison? Kiev began writing down his thoughts and feelings and speaking them out loud. He did not know it yet, but he was performing spoken word poetry. He discovered that his words had power. They gave him power to express pain and ask questions. They gave him power to think about things and explore ideas. In time, words even gave Kiev power to hope. He writes of this experience in his poem, Marks of a Man. Under the surface lies a broken boy, feeling like he is nothing, caged like an animal. How can he know what love is? So nothing moved him, almost let the animal become him. But then spoken word came and it changed his movements. He grew into a man who became more than stupid. Truth is, he grew into a man and became his own movement. When he got out of solitary confinement, Kiev was a different person. He began to attend a program called Arts in Corrections. There, other poets taught him and encouraged him. He wrote and performed more poetry. He began to dream about his life after prison. But the United States had a law that affected Kiev's dreams. This law is for people who are not American citizens who commit a crime there. The law says they must leave the United States. Kiev was not a citizen of the United States. He was a Cambodian citizen. So after he served his prison sentence, he had to go back to Cambodia. But Kiev had not been to Cambodia since he was a baby. He did not know the culture. He did not speak the language very well. His family were all in the United States. Where were all his hopes and dreams now? For almost a year, Kiev did not have a good place to live in Cambodia. He moved from home to home. Sometimes he did not have any place to stay. But he kept writing and performing poems. He kept going forward, even when his life was difficult. In this way, he discovered his connection with the country of Cambodia. The country of Cambodia has had many difficult times. But he found that Cambodia was still beautiful and still strong. He told Radio Australia, You know, 
Cambodia is resilient. Cambodia can come back and keep going. And I am resilient as well. You know, I survived. Cambodia survived. Now, it is like two survivors have found each other. Kiev wrote a poem about his special connection with Cambodia called Cambodian Rain. God is crying, and I am lying. If I am not crying too, I am trying to make amends, but in the end, I am dying too. So, before I die, let me cry along with you, hoping in the end, we both fly. Other people noticed Kossel Kiev's gift for poetry and his connection to Cambodia. He was even able to represent Cambodia as a performer at the 2012 Olympics in London, England. This world-famous international sports event also included a special poetry event. This was the largest international poetry gathering in history. It was a big honor for Kiev to perform. Since then, Kiev's spoken word performances have won awards in Europe. He also teaches spoken word poetry classes in other countries. We end this program with Kiev's poem, Prayer. In this poem, he shows his struggle with belonging among different cultures. But he also shares his hope that he is connected to all people as creations of God. Am I Cambodian? American? Why can't I be God's creation? In the image of his face, why can't we be placed among kings and queens if we are the creation of his make? So come on, say this prayer with me. Say our prayer for this new day we breathe. The writer of this program was Jen Hawkins. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United States. All quotes were adapted and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish. Dot net. This program is called Kossel Kiev, Hope in Poetry. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.